On Monday, Fox News host Harris Faulkner demanded a list of who was allowed to use the N-word after podcaster Joe Rogan apologized for using the slur over a period of years. Take a look at the Fox News clip. I'm going to be honest, if we're going to just unilaterally ban anyone who has used these phrases, um, there goes the whole Super Bowl halftime show, there goes Howard Stern, Whoopi you know Goldberg. What? That's the thing. Yeah. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. I mean, if, if black people are going to use this word in our rap music or wherever it is, then, then what are the rules? Is there a list of people mm -hmm. who use the word? No. Right? I need the list yeah. and I need the rules because to me, to me, if a word is a word is a word and it's not going to be used by anybody, then it has to be across the board. And I'm raising children. It would make it really easy. Yep to be able to tell my biracial children exactly why that word has been taken off the table with no exception. No question. Wow. Bring it home. I promised myself I wouldn't say the word wow today. <laughs> you made me say it because we have talked about all the quiet things out loud today. That's why we're here. And, and I know we're going to see some ratio in social media. I will. You know, oh my gosh, a black woman says that black men can't use the N-word. Yeah. No, she says they shouldn't and wish they didn't because you're saying that no one can. And if there are exceptions, I'm going to need a list. I'm the Hollywood Reporter reports that Aquafina returned to Twitter after a two-year absence on Saturday to address longstanding criticism over her use of a black scent and appropriation of black culture. She tweeted that there is a socio-political context to everything, especially the historical context of African-American community in this country. Aquafina clarified in her use of AAVE, or African-American Vernacular English, was a result of being first-generation American. My immigrant background allowed me to carve an American identity off of the movies and TV shows I watched, the children I went to public school with, and my undying love and respect for hip-hop, the Nora from Queens creator wrote. I think as a group, Asian Americans are still trying to figure out what that journey means for them, what is correct and where they don't belong. And though I'm still learning and doing that personal work, I know for sure that I want to spend the rest of my career doing nothing but uplifting our communities. We do this first by failing, learning, acknowledging, hearing, and empathizing. And I will continue tirelessly to do just that, she said. Aquafina acknowledged that black culture has been stolen, exploited, and appropriated by the dominant culture for monetary gain without acknowledgement nor respect for where those roots came from, the pioneers of its beginnings, and the artists that perfected and mastered the craft, she said. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. And if you'd like to see more of The Raw Report, please like and subscribe. And join others who like their news raw, too.